It's been a number of hours. Unconfirmed reports have been making rounds, but no official statement has been released by the Pakistan authorities. Furthermore, Daud's relatives have denied these reports, but in the latest development, the sources have informed that the security for Daud's family has now been heightened. Reportedly, the security for his very close relative, Javed Miyadad, has also been beefed up. And in a mega world exclusive, Republic has had a word with Javed Miyadad. Listen in to what he says. Javed, I'm talking about Kaswar Yes. कसवर क्लास में बात कर रहा हूँ शाम बात से कैसे हैं आप जी बस जी बस ठीक है लव बिल्ली सब खैरियत पड़ी कोई गरमा गरमा घर में खबरें चल रही थी और दो तीन साल पहले भी दाऊद के वाले से चली थी आपको तो हमारा बड़ा बेहतरीन एक भाई यार ये किस्म की बातें मुझसे ना पूछो अभी भी वो फोन जावेद भाई कस्वर क्लास में बात कर रहा हूँ जी कस्वर क्लास में बात कर रहा हूँ शाम बात से कैसे हैं आप जी फर्म जी बस ठीक है लव बिल्ली सब खैरियत पड़ी कोई गरमा गरमा घर में खबरें चल रही थी और दो तीन साल पहले भी दाऊद के वाले से चली थी आपको तो हमारा बड़ा बेहतरीन एक भाई यार ये किस्म की बातें मुझसे ना पू जावेद भाई कस्वर क्लास में बात कर रहा हूँ जी कस्वर क्लास में बात कर रहा हूँ शाम बात से कैसे हैं आप जी फर्म जी बस ठीक है लव बिल्ली सब खैरियत पड़ी कोई गरमा गरमा घर में खबरें चल रही थी और दो तीन साल पहले भी दाऊद के वाले से चली थी आपको तो हमारा बड़ा बेहतरीन एक भाई यार ये किस्म की बा� जावेद कस्वर क्लास में बात कर रहा हूँ जी कस्वर क्लास में बात कर रहा हूँ शाम बात से कैसे हैं आप जी फर्म जी बस ठीक है लव बिल्ली सब खैरियत पड़ी कोई गरमा गरमा घर में खबरें चल रही थी और दो तीन साल पहले भी दाऊद के वाले से चली थी आपको तो हमारा बड़ा बेहतरीन एक भाई यार ये किस्म की बातें मुझसे ना पूछो अभी भी वो फोन कर रहा है पता नहीं क्या क्या अरेस्ट हो गया मैं So that's a brief conversation that Kaswar does have with Javed Miyadad, who's said to be a close relative of Daud Ibrahim. He, for the moment, not wanting to speak much on it. In fact, he says, I do not want to say anything regarding this news. Now, clearly, there is no confirmation coming in, neither is there a denial. But in the middle of all this, uh, like I think uh, you have been reading and watching a lot of this coverage on the social media, not the first time that these are reports that have emanated from Pakistan that continues to deny the existence also of Daud Ibrahim in the rogue state. There are reports now indicating that he possibly has been hospitalized following poisoning. जावेद भाई कस्वर क्लास में बात कर रहा हूँ जी कस्वर क्लास में बात कर रहा हूँ शाम बात से कैसे हैं आप जी फर्म जी बस ठीक है लव बिल्ली सब खैरियत पड़ी कोई गरमा गरमा घर में खबरें चल रही थी और दो तीन साल पहले भी दाऊद के वाले से चली थी आपको तो हमारा बड़ा 
और बेहतरीन एक यार ये किस्म की बातें मुझसे ना पूछो अभी भी वो फोन कर रहे पता नहीं क्या अच्छा। क्या अरेस्ट हो गया मैं हो गया क्या हो गया भाई हाँ 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 नहीं मुझे आ, कोई कंसर्न नहीं है किसी का कंसर्न नहीं है ना मेरे से मेरा कोई वैसी कोई बात है आई हॉट लेसली more insight into what's going on shavan what is the latest that you can tell us as to javed miandar and let me tell you why javed miandar is important uh, there were two reports that came in this morning that uh, javed miandar uh, is a relative now uh, by and that javed family with that of uh, javed miandar so technically he does happen to be a relative of daud ibrahim second there were reports that were actually coming in of javed miandar being on house arrest if you simply go by this particular audio conversation so that i can this particular audio conversation the javed miandar had with uh, uh, our republic of pakistan that. reporter it goes on to indicate that there's something that is actually missing now what is it that is missing let's understand that one as far as daud ibrahim is concerned Mar already indicating the fact that he hasn't been keeping well what has really changed pakistani journalists have been indicating that you have a hospital in karachi in that very hospital you have one floor that has been dedicated to a high profile person and the third aspect being that internet has been snapped in pakistan Now, as far as the third point is concerned it's important to perhaps put this into perspective that the internet that has been snapped has got nothing to do with daud ibrahim it is to do with the rally that was supposed to take place uh, in pakistan as far as pti is concerned and remember there has been attempts that have been made by the interim government to perhaps uh, curb uh, uh, the, the spread of a pti and imran khan's party that that is the reason why that has happened now the two other aspect which is very important to point out here as far as daud ibrahim is concerned yes there have been certain movements that have taken place in the last 5 to 6 months what is the movement that we are really talking about this is about the consolidation of uh, the so called empire that was created by daud ibrahim in terms of his real estate business be it in dubai or for that matter in various other south africa uh, in south africa and a few other countries too where his business has actually flourished some within the indian intelligence agencies have been also indicating that this could very well be a diversionary tactic a playbook you know a leaf out of the playbook that he has always used in the past too where he has put out this information uh, that he is in keep, keeping well this is only to smoke out his own rivals who have been hiding all this while and he perhaps wants to make an estimate of his rivals who still exist in fact chota shakil his aide has been uh, you know putting out information uh, indicating that he's absolutely fine but the the reality is this in terms of his health yes there is absolutely no doubt about the fact that daud ibrahim is not keeping well whether at all are we to expect any sort of confirmation to come in now perhaps it would be absolutely foolhardy to think that pakistan is going to come out with some sort of a statement that is not going to happen at any point in time the reason being that the stated position of pakistan as far as daud ibrahim is concerned is this that daud ibrahim does not exist for pakistan despite the multiple evidence multiple reports that have been submitted by the indian government dossiers after dossiers that have been provided by the indian government to the pakistanis in fact we are also given to understand the latest dossier that was actually sent to pakistan did even have the address of daud ibrahim in karachi so much so there were attempts that were made by several reporters indian reporters through their sources in pakistan to even film the very place where daud ibrahim was actually staying he was staying in clifton this is considered to be a posh area where top bureaucrats of the pakistani government have been staying for a very very long time and that has that is has been established now there have been several rumors that have been floated all this while which again comes in with some amount of vested interest the interest being the daud ibrahim's gang which of course finds it very, you know which has been perhaps completely eliminated neutralized in india if you look at uh, his uh, henchmen they have been completely been neutralized by the indian agencies 
the last known aide that is Ejaz Lakhrawala was already arrested by the Mumbai Police Crime Branch. So all that put together net net, so all that we can tell you right now is that he isn't keeping well. But having said that, uh, can we really attach a lot of credence uh, to what has really happened, whether at all he is in hospital, has been hospitalized, a floor has been dedicated or not? Those are aspects that is that it's very unlikely that you would have Pakistan confirming as far as Indian intelligence agencies are, are concerned. They are obviously going to be extremely cautious before putting out any information out in the public domain. I think we also do have Kaswar with us. Let's uh, quickly get him also into this conversation. He has more insight into what's been happening right now. Kaswar, uh, what can you also tell us about how the story has moved? Now, clearly the very fact today that Pakistan does not want to say anything on this, many would see this very suspiciously. Because otherwise, you know, there is this conversation about the role of the D company, someone saying this is a diversionary tactic. Now, considering that these are rumors that continue to come in from Pakistan, is someone going to put a lid on this or not, Kaswar? Well, let me tell you, so far, we could not confirm the sanctity, authenticity of the news as well. That is a fact, and we admit from Pakistan as well, first thing. Secondly, Pakistan have been maintaining for a long time that Daud Ibrahim doesn't ever exist in Pakistan. He has not been to Pakistan ever and ever again. And uh, even as uh, Shaman has rightly pointed out, that the government of India has actually provided a dossier to Pakistani government for uh, a, a couple of years ago, and they mentioned seven addresses, but Pakistani authorities, and even the reporters, they, I was included among the reporters who had traveled to those seven addresses, but we could not actually get any clue about his very reports as well. But now, today, that uh, all the day we have been running, and the news channel have been running the story, interesting thing is that not a single person, not a single official from Pakistan come up, come forward, and either to deny or even to uh, uh, to confirm the reports as well. Now, we did not see anyone coming out of blue and out stepping forward to speak on the subject. And this is what has made this, all of the situation very, very fishy. And we have got to know that the Pakistani officials do not actually want to touch the subject because, uh, you know, uh, Adhod Ibrahim is uh, also, um, uh, you know, to some extent, he has relatives here. Uh, he has been married to the daughter of uh, most respected politician, most respected man here in Pakistan who is living in Karachi as well. He has relatives over there as well. Relatives have been actually, uh, have been very much concerned about the health reports. But even at this moment, they are too frightened. and even they are not, not taking our telephone calls as well. So it is something that is very, very interesting. And the silence of the Pakistani feature is making all these speculations very, very fishy. But as of now, as a journalist, I have been trying all the day, all day long with you guys as well. But so far, I could not get the address of the hospital where he has been uh, pronounced to be taken to. And uh, so far, these are mere speculations, but we are attacking the story. We are attacking... Uh, the, the whereabouts of uh, Daud Ibrahim as well. But so so far, we could not succeed. But let's just show that we are tracking this story. Until now, until this one, 25 hours has been passed, but we did not see any Pakistani official speaking on the subject. It takes just two lines to deny or even to confirm this, uh, these reports as well. But so far, it, these are just speculation. And let me tell you that uh, last night, uh, the joining of the internet service in Pakistan actually fueled these speculations, but yet we are back to scare Pakistani officials of keeping man. They are not denying, they are not accepting it. So we are in a fix, but still we are attacking this story. So we are in a fix, but still we are attacking this story. Okay. All right. Uh, we thank both of you for getting us the latest on that. We'll try and see if there is any word that comes in from Pakistan. It's